my name is Robert, and I'm from Children's Climate Championship in Canada. I talk to kids, scientists, and organizations about what they're doing to help stop biodiversity loss and climate change. Woo! This is one of the things I have not heard about in discussions since I arrived, but would like to fix, and it is one of the scary parts of the biodiversity act. Did you know that 196 environmental defenders were killed around the world last year? 79 in Colombia alone. My friend Francisco, who is 14, had to leave his home here in Colombia because of the death threats against him. Whenever I post, I often get crazy people saying something awful or scary in my comments. Two years ago, when I began my journey as a climate and biodiversity communicator, I looked into where it is safe for kids to raise their voices, and a full 25% of the 196 countries I looked at were places I didn't feel like kids were safe to protest against climate change or biodiversity loss. That's why I don't ever let them say their last names to try and protect them. The UK is still sentencing just stop oil eco defenders for years in jail after planning peaceful protests. In my home, Canada is not better with indigenous land defenders being prosecuted by RCMP in locations such as our beautiful old growth forests like Fairy Creek and the Wet Land on the West Coast. Eco defenders are heroes, not criminals. They should be celebrated, not attacked. Yeah! Fossil fuel executives not being arrested for eco side are the real criminals. Governments around the world need to do better to protect those environmental defenders. Kids deserve to be safe, and that's why I do this. Please help me and the other kids around the globe. Thank you. Yeah!